I'm driving a 1971 Chevy C10 LS, a whole bunch of work done to it. So it's got a six liter iron block LS with a 76 millimeter turbo, makes good power. Probably the biggest deal about this truck is it has a full custom built chassis. Uh, it was designed by me, I'm a mechanical engineering student. It's not a tube frame, but it's got uh, square and rectangle tubing in it. All custom suspension, three link in the rear. So yeah, it's all custom built. I think the d and &E challenge is really good because you know it allows builders that spend a whole lot of time outside of just making their car perform. You know They can show off all the other details and hours that they spent on it. Mike Dussault, champion out here. He lives in the same area that I live in. And I went to him in probably 2017. It was a two year build. What I told Mike was, look, I want a car that I can compete with on the track, but I also want to drive it. I want to take my kids in it, my wife in it. I want AC, I want radio. It's a 1969 Camaro Tribute RS. It was original, just a V8 coupe. He sold me on this patina concept, and because you know, it, I knew what he could do with paint, I let him do it. For design engineering, we basically go over all the modifications and engineering stuff we've done to the car, as well as the customization. So it's a pretty extensive process when you've got a car that's modified from one end to the other and uh, you've only got a, four minutes to actually tell them about all the things you might have done. So you got to kind of hurry along without getting too much of a hurry, but also try to get the points across that you need to uh, explain uh, the technical aspects of what you've done. For my car, I've uh, completely paneled the entire engine bay with carbon fiber to get some points for visual stuff. Design and engineering is kind of what drew me to this series. It separates race cars from street cars. This is getting on the ragged edge of a street car, but it still is a street car. I have a full interior, and I put so much effort into making it stay a street car. It's pretty easy to lighten a car up and make it fast, but it's hard to make a car fast and have all of those nice features that a street car has. I have had this car since I was 16 years old. I got wind of this series, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was so cool. Since then, I've been slowly building this car. Definitely not the easy route, but I, I really love doing this. I love making things work. At the end of the day, I'm the only one here with a 944, and I, I'm pretty proud of that.